So the foundation wall is built and we've got the cores filled and the anchor bolts installed. I filled every core where there was a vertical rebar and then every core where I needed a bolt. So the next step is to waterproof the outside of the foundation. And here are the products that we're using for that. We're putting on a waterproof membrane and that is a, uh, a Grace product. Same company that makes the ice and water shield that everyone uses. It's a uh, Bitumen 3000. It's just a heavy waterproof outer uh, surface and an inner bitumen super sticky surface peel and stick product. It's a lot like ice and water just heavier and it comes uh, there's a primer product that goes with it so you coat the wall with the primer and let it dry and it dries tacky and then a combination of the tacky primer and the sticky membrane gives you a really good adhesion. I also got a can of just liquid bitumen that I'm using to seal the edges and the seams and also just for some problem areas where the where the old foundation and the new foundation meet where it would be tricky to get the, the membrane uh, adhered evenly. Before I did the waterproofing, before I started the waterproofing, I put a, a mortar seam all the way around. It's just a, like a two inch wedge of mortar, kind of a extra large bead of caulk kind of concept. And that seals that, uh, that seam that's prone to leaking that seam between the footing and the block wall. And it also provides kind of a transition area so you don't have a sharp corner that uh, makes it tricky to put the membrane on. And it also directs water away from the wall. So that, I've got that all the way around. Walk over here, show you the waterproofing in progress here. So this, this wall has the primer on it, put this on about 30 minutes ago. In this weather, it takes at least an hour to dry. And here's the finished product over here that I did a couple days ago. So the membrane sticks to the wall, which is primed, it goes across that seam and onto the top of the footing as well. And then all of the seams, the top and the bottom and the edges where two pieces meet, I've covered with the liquid bitumen. And here's the transition area here between the old and the new. There's the membrane I used, the blue skin membrane that I used previously, which is fine. I just wanted to try something different. And this is where the old and the new meet. So it's just kind of slopped on a bunch of the liquid stuff to get a good seal there. So this uh, primer is almost ready to go. I'll put on a few more pieces, work my way around, try to get this done today and then tomorrow I can start putting in the drainage. See you then.